Hi, and welcome back to Camp Sue and our pick a card reading for this week. I've selected three cards. Actually, I've selected three piles um, of cards. And what I'm asking each of you to do who's watching is to just look at any one of these stones, selenite. And selenite is one that helps with illumination and clarity, like to raise your vibration. This is a piece of selenite right here. Um, the next card, Green Adventuring. Now this one is about prosperity and um, financial uh, good fortune, luck, possibilities, new opportunities. That would be the Green Adventuring. Then we have bronzite. Bronzite is one um, about self-respect, uh, trusting that the conscious universe has your back. It's trust, loyalty, steadfastness, self-respect. So take a few minutes, pause the video, and come back. I'll have the timestamps below. All right. Pile one, welcome. So selenite, what can we tell you more about that selenite? So this one is um, like flexibility, um, fluidity, liquid light. It's all those higher spiritual purposes and using it for protection. So that is an absolutely beautiful card, selenite. Well, let's start out here and see what we have. Okay, so we have the uh, Ten of Swords. Something's really, and this is a message from your um, spirit guides, someone who's passed on. And they, can, they know you're suffering. They feel your pain. And they really want to let you know that they, they're here for you. You don't need to suffer by yourself. The selenite, the clarity, the unit. They just, um, just feel them, feel their presence. The seven of cups, it's like illusion, delusion. You know, you just, um, you just kind of fooling yourself about something they're saying. Something that's, it, it's causing you pain. You're trying to believe something that's not real. And you're trying to make something out of it. There's like a a battle, and you you've been really struggling, and you're not giving up. You're just taking a rest. So even though things might seem a little bit um, defeating at this point, know that there is hope. Your imagination can really cause you some um, mental anguish. So be careful of your thoughts. Nothing's as it seems, I'm hearing. Nothing is ever as it seems. Step back and take a rest. Step back. You don't need to solve this in one day, they're saying. You can get that joy back that you want. They're saying it's there. Trust your self-worth. You're just worth so much. Oh, are you worthy? Worthy of love? Worthy of all these dreams that you have? It's not over. You can find that joy within your own self. That's where your dreams are. It's not in another. I know you're a little impatient, they're saying. Um, I'm also hearing Rome wasn't built in a day. Patience, take your time. Where Selenite says you need to have some flexibility. Um, meditate. Raise your vibration. You know, look up to your higher self. See, like, hear those messages that you're getting from the loved one that you've, that's passed on. 
We'll see who we got here, but we'll continue on. We have some more cards. We also have the Akashic Field. It's like some truth, some hidden truth is coming to your knowledge. And it's stirring up a real storm, if you know what I mean. A storm within you, right here. That storm. It's so painful. They want you to be joyful. Let it go, let it go. We all have choices. Remember that. We all have choices. It's, we also have um, uh, where we, we've built stuff. Like we're waiting for the harvest. We've been planting and maybe it's a new idea. Um, disc are primarily associated with finances, money. A new opportunity. There's a new job coming. Keep your eyes and ears open. Oh, I'm just... Um, yeah, new opportunity, something in a place where you normally wouldn't have thought you would find an opportunity. People who might be starting a new business venture, your ideas are going to bear some fruit. All that hard work, all the hard work is going to come forward. You've done well. So even though you feel pretty, it's pretty rough right now. It will be better. You will have some joyful times here financially. So love. You will find that um, union that you're looking for. There'll be um, joy. And it's going to be in this new occupation, this new job that I see coming. New opportunity business job. We also have the roses kiss. So look at that. You got love, joy, roses kiss. So this sadness is going to be gone soon, folks. Whoever picks pile one, just trust. Trust that the good fortune invite in the magic. See the rainbows and the clouds. Just know that... Um, your, the future is looking bright for you here. So you have this one where it's um, harvesting. You're soon going to be harvesting good fortune, love. All that you've been so impatient about is, go is coming because you finally have some self-worth. Are you getting there? Because whatever's going on right here, this is just going to cause you to open up your eyes and see. There's like the truth, needing to see. Who is this person over here? Do you even know them? Do you want to? Do you want to continue on with the battle? It seems like there's lots of um, fire and discourse, but you're you're gaining your self respect for yourself and joy. You're feeling so much more joy, and that's going to bring in that love that you're really longing for. But just hold on to, try to be patient, folks. Try to be patient. Because there, the, the sorrow is really deep. It's a loss. They feel your pain. You're, you're the person that's uh, connecting. They feel your sadness. But they also want you to know that it will, it will improve. You don't need to persecute yourself. You gotta just let it go. Forget that whole illusion, whatever it was, the trickster, the person that just was coming to mess with you, you know? You learned a lesson. Everybody learns lessons. Oh, you've grown so much. This is um, the same card as the Queen of uh, Disc. And that is um, someone who's really grounded that um, prosperity doesn't um, need to really want for anything. But inside, there's that sorrow. And the sorrow is what's going to stop the um, love. 
there will be um, celebration. You will be able to overcome this sadness. But wow, isn't this something? So here we have your final unicorn card. Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. So, like the unicorn suggesting here, have some patience. Rome wasn't built in a day. That was what I had heard in the beginning. You have good fortune coming. Up to you. Let this go. The thoughts, the imagination. It's like you're creating a mountain out of a molehill. It's time to just let it go. It's time to trust and raise your vibration. Let go the sorrow. The sorrow is blocking out the roses, the kisses, which you'll have. You'll have. You just need to trust. There is hope. With that, folks, group one, thank you very much. Namaste, and be patient. It will get better. Okay, group two. Adventuring. Welcome, group two. So, adventuring, prosperity. You know, that is our natural state. So let's see what more we can um, find out. Luck, good fortune, potential, possibilities, new opportunities. In group one, there was um, new business, new opportunities. Here, this is like a big message from spirit, from your um, ancestors. I'm seeing the image of, um, I'm not seeing a face, but I'm seeing an image of a man in um, like 1940s business type suit with the big shoulders and black and with a hat. Um, like very suave, really having it all together. So let's see what this here, what we have going with our cards. Okay, first card out. Look at that. New opportunities, business. Um, you know, your ship's coming in. That's awesome. Oh, Knight of Wands. Fiery, just like that um, guy I just saw in this image. The, um, you know, taking no prisoners, like well-dressed business type individual. Charging forward. Um, knowing, like charging towards those new opportunities. Oh, which is going to be messages of money. So this new opportunity that you um, are soon to have is going to bring you a lot of money. Um, there's going to be an offer of um, financial wellness, so to speak. You're going to get what you want. Hold it in your heart. Um, confidence. Confidence is truly going to help. You've got definitely have luck on your side. So you really work hard. You are a hard worker. This is your dream, Spirit's saying. You want this so badly. You trust. You have faith in yourself. You know that you have these abilities. You know how to sell them. People just want to give you things because they see you as prosperous because you've worked so, so hard. You also have a, a tad of mysticism um, in your blood. It's like, you know, if you're a salesperson, you're the type of person that people want on their team because you have this um, sixth sense you know when to call a customer. Customers like you. They know that you're authentic, sincere. When you give a promise, they know you're going to come through. All right. Now, here's spirit right here. They're giving you a message. They want to say, okay, so... 
hello, you're not listening. So I'm glad you picked this pile because Spirit wants you to hear something. Well, let's see, what do we need? To, what do you want them to hear, Spirit? They're telling me to tell you to slow down. Everything's not all about money, even though you know how to do it uh, with business. You, uh, just stop and listen. Listen. There's um, a woman. Or there's emotions, strong emotions. Very emotional. There's somebody that really wants you to be home more. Or to be more present. We'll hold that aside for a minute. The next one we have is the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a guy, just a woman, that just totally loves money. All they want is money. Money, money, money. Here's a message about money. Fiery, just charging toward it, not listening to your own emotions. That's it. You need to stop and really get in touch with your emotions. Money's not everything. It doesn't buy you happiness. It just creates more anxiety. So be careful of how much you're really wishing for. They want you to be successful, but they also want you to have some love and some heart. You are truly beyond the ordinary. With this mysticism, you are an amazing creator. And what Spirit's saying is you can create that peace and harmony, that love within you that you want desperately. And you're feeling that you need to... Um, that if you don't work, you have no value, and that is so not true. You are an absolutely beautiful soul. Look at that. Look at that brightness. All of those colors coming right out of your heart. You know, that's you. That's what you truly are. All those lights. Have faith in that part of you. Work is good, but let's work on the good part here. You have some good fortune coming. Children. Know that your children are protected. So here's your family. Spending time. You worry about your kids, but your kids are all right. They're going to be fine. Look at this. More abundance. Holy cow. This is the king of disc in tarot. And the king of disc is an earthy type sign. And it's somebody who has um, just acquired so much prosperity. Someone that's uh, really in tune with all of their whole self. Well, well educated. Spiritually in tune. So this knight of pentacles, he's graduating, you're graduating. Or, you know, I shouldn't just say he. It could be a woman, too. Spirit's saying you're moving forward. You're moving to where you need to be. Where you are the um, creator and owner of everything around you. So here we have the Queen of Cups again. Receptivity. Love. So there's so much love in, in, um, around your family. You care so much about them. That's why you're working so hard. And we have the eight of, uh, eight of disc. Now, this is, um, you've worked hard. Now you're going to reap your rewards. Remember I said in the beginning, you're going to get a message about money, a new job, a new opportunity. It's um, the best job. You're, it's something that you're really looking forward to. And finally, the unicorn message, message for you is intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Behold with your request to the universe. Oh, be bold with your 
request to the universe. So, ask. Spirit saying, ask. When you pray, in whatever way that you pray, your faith, however you do this, they're asking you to pray and ask for help. Then listen for the signs. The signs are going to come in different ways. They're going to be... Um, Like maybe you're going to see some birds or I don't know. Let's see some other imagery. Lotus blossoms. We have a few of those. So flowers. So maybe by spring, but just um, keep persevering. You're in a really great, good fortune time. With that, I thank you for group two. All right, group three. Welcome, Bronzite. So Bronzite, this here is um, a stone about um, having like a, a two heart that recognizes the conscious universe. So it's loyalty, trust, trusting that the conscious universe has your back, self-respect. So that's what this card, let's see what the reading goes forward with this. We'll just leave this right over here so we can refer back to it over here so you can see it better. First cards. Oh, wonderful. So your spirit, this is a message from someone that's deceased, that's passed on. And they are just so grateful for everything that you've done for them when they were here on this planet. You're probably like a caregiver. Like someone who's very um, emotional. Then we have um, the Palace of Cups here. So that's like creating a beautiful home full of love. This, um, you're really heading down a wonderfully beautiful path with lots of wealth. Not only um, material wealth, but um, emotional, emotionally spiritually you're really evolving and growing into yourself there's a lot of water um it, it's things will be flowing more smoothly just trust trust in you that's what spirit's telling me letting go releasing there's something that you're holding on to um you miss them they hear your prayers they know you're talking to them when you talk out loud, driving. And they say they hear you. And they play music. They even send birds to sing. So listen for birds. If you... Um, uh, recovering from an illness. They want you to know they're really proud of you, that you've unlocked the key, the key that they've been wanting for you your whole entire life. And you've got that. And they're breathing life. And like it's like you're starting a new life. You're letting go of something that's just been too tough for you. Through this release, by letting go, now you're going to be able to expand your um, spiritual side, your emotions. You'll be able to uh, manage them. You'll have more clarity. You'll begin to trust more. You have a really good friend that you can trust. 
And it's tough getting people that you can trust. The Oracle of Delphi. Ask for help. You are divinely connected here, up with the star. You, all you need to do is ask, and the help is going to be there for you. It's um, an oracle of wisdom, sitting in meditation, being quiet. Um, you're going to tune in. You'll have feelings, and if you feel it in your heart, like real strong, um, you'll know it's the right answer. There's um happy family. Uh, it's good times. It's um the same that the the sadness. Let that go. Let it go. You're in for some really good times, where things are going to be growing, and um. Just a real happy, happy home. There's the ending, the change through that death. There was like, there's going to be like the recovery through the ending. The same, let it all go. Just cut it off. You don't need it. Great big love. You got some great big love coming, folks. Look at this. You got a happy home. You got the cu palace of cups. Divine intervention. It's, um going to be someone who is uh, well-to-do. They're going to have themselves together. Or if you're already in a relationship, it will improve. There'll be more stability, grounding. Angel of Miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. Miracles do happen. Like right now, you're probably saying, never in a million years am I going to have that full love, that happy home. But you know what? Yes, you can. And yes, you will. So our final cards. We'll stick these over here. So there's a master. It's like creating. So you are the creator of your own um, destiny. You're the creator, the destroyer. Through your change, through your um, free will, through your choice, there's going to be opportunities. More love. Look at that. More love. Major arcanas. you got two major arcanas here. One, two. And then the king of swords. So it's going to be cutting through the, the stuff, the thickness. There'll be more communication which will open up to this great big love if you're already in a relationship. Communications will open up. There'll be change, transformation. And the final card, the final message from the unicorns, awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. So absolutely be conscious of your thoughts. There's, you know opportunities for miracles thoughts are truly real and you can create what you wish by holding thoughts so with that folks be aware it's coming you've got this beautiful love coming even if it's just a, a, a loving understanding of yourself as Barnsite would say make sure that you're, you trust. There will be people that are loyal. You have loyal friendships. Have some self-respect, which you do because you're releasing. And trust that the universe has your back. And with that, I say namaste and thank you for watching.